Down here with Coach Kelly. Coach, you guys still have another week of spring practice, but today you have fans back. There's some yeah. excitement here. What are you looking forward to in the showcase? Well, it's been two years since we've had fans really come to practice just because of COVID. You know, two years ago, we, we got our spring ball canceled after three practices, and then last year we were still on lockdown. So a um, lot of situational work today. Um, and then everything you get, you know, I think sometimes when you play a game, you miss out on something. So you're going to get one-on-ones. You're going to get seven-on-seven. Seven, you're going to get a two-minute drill. You're going to get red zone drill. So we scripted a lot of the things that will occur today just because sometimes you get into a game and then the ball ends up in between the 20s and then you can't really orchestrate it. So everything here is going to be orchestrated so we can get put into situations. We've got officials here for the fourth time. We've had them almost all every Saturday we've had here during during this spring training. So um, I think it's good for our players. You know, we're going to try to do as many game simulation process, things as possible. Speaking of coming back, not only fans coming back, but DTR decided to come back. Zach Charbonnet decided to come back. Those two, what have they done for your program, culture? Now here for you. Yeah, they're both great leaders. And, and I think all, they're both instances. They were very um, logical in their approach. They were very, you know, they took a lot of time, them and their families, in terms of what their decisions was going to be made. Um, they took into academic con con um, opportunities that are still available to them, you know, what, what the draft looks like for each individual position. Um, we advise all of our guys and get them all the information we can, and then they make the decision on what's a, you know, what's the best course for them. Um, and then both of those guys, we were just so happy that they came back. You kind of have your fingers crossed, but you're also, I wouldn't advise them say, hey, you should do this or you shouldn't do this. I, I think the biggest, the biggest thing for them is that they, they come to a conclusion and they feel really comfortable in the situation, and um, we couldn't be more happy to have those two guys back. Speaking of the draft, some of the guys are going to get picked next week from this defense. you got to replace a lot of defensive players, but I feel like a lot of guys have played here. And and you got a new defensive coordinator, Bill McGovern, has that side of the ball. Yeah, we have. Um, I'm really excited about our defense, and we've got a lot of really, really good players coming back. You know, and I think that's the important thing. You know, with with Blaylock and Mo and and uh, Kirkwood and some of those guys, Churchwell in the secondary, they've played a ton of football for us. Um, adding Darius Marsou from Hawaii, he's done an unbelievable job at linebacker for us this spring. Um, Ali Cahill's done a really good job. You know, Kay Madrano's done a great job. And then up front, we've got a lot of veterans coming back, and then we've added a couple guys, the Murphy twins, the outside linebackers from Northern Texas have made a really, really big impact. They got to lot too from Washington. So um, we feel really confident about where we are defensively right now. When you look at the portal, you guys have been the most efficient team in the country in terms of guys coming in and then contributing. You got some new guys this spring, including Jake Bobo. How has he been and some of the new faces? Yeah, Jake's been outstanding. You know, really pushing himself to wide receiver one right now. Um, I talked to David Cutcliffe extensively about him, and when he, when he said this statement to me that the three best practice players he ever coached were Peyton Manning, Noah Fant, and Jake Bobo, we knew he was the type of kid we wanted. And, and uh, you know, he led the ACC in catches, um, can, can make contested catches. He's a big, strong, physical target. He's smart. He's intelligent. Um, I know Dorian and all our quarterbacks are really happy that they, they can look out wide and see number nine out there. Yes, we're lucky to see him as well. Can't wait to see him make some plays today. Coach, good luck. All right, thanks, Yogi.